welcome back to the Fermented World channel. This is video two of the day. Sorry if I showed you my cliffhanger of a belly there. So four days has gone by and according to this, this should be ready to add the hops after four days. This is the Totally Brewed four hopman of the apocalypse. Now I was talking to Rob from Totally Brewed, the person whose beer this is, and I asked him about the blend because they use a, a house blend of hops, totally brewed yeast blend. Now it's two different types of yeast. I can't remember what he said. I think he said a, a... no, I can't remember. <laughs> so anyway, it's two different yeasts blend together. So you get the one for the flavor and one for the speed as well. It absolutely took off. Five hours later, this thing was bubbling away. I could not believe it. And then I was like, well, it's gonna be done early. And then I checked it and it says within four days. So it is day four. We're gonna take a hydrometer reading and possibly add the hop packet labeled hop four, which has got Cascade and Centennial hops in. Centennial is one of my favorite hops. When I brewed my first um, kit and I started messing with things, it was Centennial that I decided that I was going to do. Holy crud. I have no idea what that is. It could very well be some of the the protein stuff from um, the beer, but it's cleared out quite nicely as well. So first of all, hydrometer test. It says the predicted for this time is 1.011, so 11 fermentable points. I'm being very gentle whilst doing this because we don't want to upset it. We don't want an infection, so we've got to be really careful. So let's have a quick butchers where we're at and we'll see about adding this hops. Okay. A bit higher than expected. So it's, uh, oh no, it's actually lower than expected. Two, four, six, it's down to six. Ooh. Which means we've got something stronger. Ooh. Okay, so very gently, we're going to add that back in. But we're going to hold a little bit back to have a little taste. Any bitty taste. Let's see what it tastes like now, before we put the hops in. Smells good. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good. Mmm. It definitely reminds me of their beer. That is amazing. Well, I should have expected it to remind me of their beer considering that it's their recipe. <laughs> but, you know, let's get them out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this hop bag called a muslin. And we're going to pop it over there like that and we're going to add our hops and drop our notes on the pot on the floor. But while we're at it, we may as well make the note that the gravity on the 24th was 1.006. Was it 1.006? Pretty sure it was. If it wasn't 6, it was 8. So. We're going to slip this packet open. They all come um, airtight, sealed. Let's crunch it up a little bit. Oh, it smells wonderful. Give you a picture of that. Um, now what we do is we're going to tip it into this. Make sure we get all of it. And now we can see that it's 
Cascade and Centennial. Even though I don't think that got into focus there. Then we tie this off. I'm very surprised it's gone that low to be honest. But it may have been because there was more brewing sugar added than there was anything else. And then we just rest that hot bag on there. It will eventually sink and then eventually float again. And then we replace the lid. That is as simple as today's job with the totally brewed beer which tastes flipping awesome before it's even got the dry hops in i can't even flipping lie so this is going to be ready to bottle within the next says four days so we'll leave it another four days um and we shall just do a quick calculation actually so we shall come back in four days and remove the hot bag uh, and then we should be able to bottle it's low enough for bottling now um, so yeah four days and it's motored through it amazing can't believe it we need more I need to find out what that flipping yeast blend is and start blending some yeast because wow it's just gone through all of that in such a short space of time I'm flabbergasted absolutely flabbergasted and it tastes nice so that's the hops in the dry hops and we'll be back in four days to remove it. Thanks for watching. Tatty bites.